everyone. Uh, today we're going to probably do an activity today. Uh, we're going to go out somewhere. Um, probably to the aquarium and the butterfly. And hopefully the Titanic. Um, get to see who will survive the sinking ship. Um, and then we'll probably have late lunch or early dinner at the Arizona Boardwalk. And then probably just come on home. So I'll talk to you guys more in a little while. Arizona Boardwalk. Um, we're going to start out 30 minutes at the butterfly. I want to get some awesome photos of the butterflies. You have your membership, right, Chris? Yeah. Okay. Get it out. So, we're, that's where we're going to head to first. And then we're going to... Yep. My pass is going to really get used today. So... Going here first, for, just for 30 minutes. I know. So. Look at these awesome birds here. That one's pretty. Right there. the butterfly wonderland I'm gonna get tons of photos of tons of butterflies I guess um, yeah you can tell that they're out the butterflies are out the one thing you gotta remember if one lands on you you can't touch them just because yeah so they can land on you but you can't touch them Yeah. Just remember that when one lands on you, you just can't touch them. They go with bright colors. And if they actually land on you, it, it means it's a lucky thing. It's a good thing. It's a lucky thing. Even chickens here. I understand that it's good for them to be here just because it helps the bugs population that likes to eat the bug flies. Tons of butterflies around restrooms. As you can tell, what the sign says, it's voted Americans' best restrooms, and I can just tell you why. <laughs> yeah, you can see why. This restroom has been voted the best restroom. Look, you can see a shark. There's a shark right next to you. Um, at least there's a glass between us. And you can see tons of sharks. Um, yeah, that's the reason why this restroom is voted as the, restroom, as the best rest, restrooms in the country, in America. That is a reason why. Look at all those fish. Yeah. Take a look at that. Well, we better get rid of...
just gonna look at some fish and turtles, I guess. would love this. Look, Nancy would like this. Look what the sign says. babies but small alligators. Those are cool. Anyways, I'll show you more. We just ate lunch and now um, we'll walk around some more. Um, look at all those penguins back there. Yeah, I guess if I knew my lunch was back there, I would be back there. Yeah. And down under the sea, it's pretty cool. Are you sure? Yeah. Thank you. going down the sea. Under the sea. This is also the coolest escalator there is. So I guess this place has the best bathrooms and the best escalator. Before we get eaten. If you're really underneath the sea, you have to deal with that and that. And look at that. The wine of a shark. Look at that shark. That one's beautiful with the little tip on his tail. And look how long his tail is.
staying here for hours. Just, this is relaxing. This is really relaxing here. If you know what I mean. They look like Nemo. I found Nemo. Bunch of Nemos. I guess they're called clownfish. They're clownfish, so. Finding Nemo. A voyager. Adventure, so oh, there you are. Hi, hi, I think you're alive. Uh huh.
Well, this is well worth it. I think we've done this before, Carol. Yeah, we have. Except you can see a baby shark. the usual data and report any abnormalities. Nathan, we need a count of sea turtles in this area to compare with previous visits. Can you handle it? I can totally handle it, Captain. I'm fantastic. No, I'm phenomenal at counting. <laughs> wow, Nathan. Punny jokes are so last year. Oh, and Nathan, make sure you note the totals per species. Note it. I would also like to note that we have a problem. I don't know the types of sea turtles and how to tell them apart. That's okay, Nathan. I can help you out. There are seven species of sea turtle in the world, but here at Station 66, we commonly see two of them, green and loggerhead. Is that because the other five are in danger? Unfortunately, all seven species are endangered or threatened. The challenges sea turtles face are all around. For example, boat strikes are a major problem for turtles when they come up for air. And trash on the shoreline and in the water is a big problem too. A plastic bag floating in the water looks just like a jellyfish, one of the sea turtles' favorite snacks. So what can we do to help? Well, Nathan, simple things can make a big difference if we all do them. Choosing a reusable water bottle will keep plastic ones out of landfills and oceans. And using cloth shopping bags means fewer plastic ones find their way to the ocean. Reduce, reuse, recycle. Exactly. Beyond that, we need to respect nature's boundaries. That's totally awesome. some of the injured turtles that the Odyssey Voyager team is working to rehabilitate. That's right, Nathan. These turtles have been injured by predators or boats and are missing portions of their flippers or shells as a result. Take Boise, for example, a 240-pound loggerhead who suffered a trauma that severed her spine. As a result, she now has a condition known as bubble butt. Do you know what that means? Is that where turtles blow bubbles out of their... No! <laughs> bubble butt is when air becomes trapped under the shell or in the body as a result of an injury. This makes it extremely difficult for the turtles to dive and therefore hunt. Turtles like Boise simply wouldn't be able to survive in the open ocean. That's floating kind of funny, like at an angle. Is that bubble butt? Good catch, Nathan. It is. I can spot a bubble butt a mile away. That's probably Charlie, a loggerhead turtle that was rescued in Florida after being struck by a boat. If you look closely, you may see the two dark circles on the back of her shell. Those are weights that were added to counteract the trapped air, helping her to swim more naturally. She's become so good at diving and navigating her way that she can comfortably nestle in between the rock work for a nap. <sighs> I love a good nap. Well, so do sea turtles. They can hold their breath for hours at a time. And that shell of hers blends into the surrounding environment, so it's a pretty safe spot to take a snooze. So she's all better? Not quite, Nathan. As Charlie grows, her weights will need to be adjusted to account for her growing size. Bubble butt would leave her very vulnerable to predators and unable to survive on her own. 
We see this kind of injury all too often, and that's why Odyssey Aquarium stands ready to work with turtles like Charlie to provide them a forever home. Brizo from Mission Control. We're going to pause momentarily here at 100 feet so that we can do a system check. We should be getting back on course in a minute or two. Um, Captain Brizo, this is Nathan again. Yes, Nathan, what is it? Ma'am, I'm curious. How can I assist with our mission today? I'll be looking to you to be my eyes and ears down there. We can see a lot from Mission Control but your observations and those of the recruits are vital to our research. Will do. First up, I just checked out of the uh, the Titanic. We're gonna see who survives. Hopefully I'll survive, because I'm, I don't know. Maybe I might be Molly Brown. Unsinkable Molly Brown. Rockets having dinner. Um, so we had a fun full day. Yes, we did. They wouldn't let us uh, video in the Titanic exhibit, but it was pretty awesome, I have to say. I survived. Uh, I don't know if Chris did or not, but he's sitting across from me. I guess he didn't sink with the Titanic. Um, yeah, so I. I think I'm a... Are you into the original? I don't know yet. I might do the original too, Carol, with no tomato, no, no less, no onions. I think I'm going to do a grilled cheese with bacon on it. Where do you see that at, Carol? Well, oh. I say grilled cheese, but I'm sure you can have bacon if you ask them. Oh, it says where well, it says sourdough special? Uh-huh. So, mm -mm. so we are about to take our order. Shower. I am not down from the night. Winding down from the day. Um, I felt we did. We accomplished a lot on this wonderful Saturday. Uh, we went to. Well, it's a very hot Saturday, but we went somewhere. At least we were inside, Chris. Uh, we did a lot today. We went to the Butterfly Wonderland. It's been about 30 minutes there. And then we went over to the Odyssey Aquarium, which we spent about three hours there, I think. Um, and then we did the Titanic exhibit. I don't know how long we spent there. And then we went over to Johnny Rockets for dinner. So I think we had a full fun Saturday, don't you, Chris? Yeah. We got out. We got. We were active. We were moving. We did not sit in this apartment. Uh, yes, we did have our face mask. And I shall put it in the wash for tomorrow. Uh, we are basically winding down the day. You remember what to do. Contact with your friends, your family, your loved ones, anyone. Tell them you say hi. Tell them 
uh, hi and see how they're doing because you know who knows um, and then we're going and then if you like this video hit the subscribe button hit the like button comment down below and what else I guess that's about it have a wonderful evening wonderful Sunday and I'll see you guys more tomorrow I guess good night